Hey everybody, Tech Guy Charlie here, welcome back. So in this video, I'm going to show you some of the best and awesome features that you probably did not know they exist on your Samsung Galaxy. In other words, hidden features. So let's keep the intro short and start the video right away. Alright, so you are watching an interesting video and you get a text from a friend. Now when you open the notification, you can see WhatsApp takes over the entire screen and the video playback stops. That's kind of annoying. So if you don't want to get interrupted and keep doing whatever you are doing, what you can do is whenever you get a new notification, drop down the notification panel and then long press on the notification. Now drag it out like this and place this in the middle of the screen. And this will make the app run in the pop-up view mode. Now you will be able to text your friend and watch YouTube at the same time. Pretty amazing, right? And when you are done texting, tap here and then close the window. Now you can also use this exact same method to launch apps in split view mode instead of the pop-up view. So once you get a notification, long press once again and this time drag it to the bottom of the screen. And you will see that it activates the split view mode. So yeah, this is a feature that many people don't know. It's there on their Samsung phones. Now I took this photo a couple of years ago and you can see it is totally unusable because of this Jeep. It looks even worse on a printout because yeah, that Jeep is staring right at you. Fortunately, we can get rid of this Jeep using the built-in object eraser tool. Let me show you how. So go to your gallery and open up the photo that you want to erase the object from. Then tap on the pencil icon to go into the image editor. Then tap on these three dots and then select object eraser tool. Now draw a circle around the object that you want to get rid of. We want to get rid of this Jeep so here we go. Once you are done, tap on erase and there you go. That Jeep has disappeared from the photo. Now it is not perfect. You can definitely tell that something used to be here in the photo. But still, if you compare the printouts, the difference is barely visible. You can also use the object eraser tool to remove shadows from photos. So this photo has a shadow here and once again this shadow makes the photo completely unusable. So to get rid of this, go back into the object eraser tool and this time press the erase shadow button and the phone will get rid of the shadows. And take a look, the photo is much better now. So this was before and after, before and after. Fantastic. Now did you know that you can use the built-in search engine on your Samsung Galaxy to search for photos in your gallery just by typing their description. So let's type dog and you will see that the phone not only shows us results from different apps but it will also show us pictures of dogs in the gallery. So there you go. And you can be even more specific, like let's search for pictures of Beagle. And bam, there you go. It shows us pictures of Beagle in the gallery. Heck, it will even search for text in your photo. So a couple of months ago, I took a photo of a wiring diagram. Now because that photo was taken months ago, it's gonna be very difficult for me to search the photo because I've taken tons of photos after that. So what we can do is go back to the search engine and search for the term wiring diagram. That's because the photo has the word wiring diagram in it. And yeah, there it is. The phone shows us the picture that we are looking for. So it knows that this picture has the text wiring diagram and that is how it's able to show this picture. So you can see how useful this feature really is. Now let me show you some hidden features in the camera. So check this out. So you don't have to switch the camera mode from photo to video just to record a video. If you press and hold the camera shutter button in the photo mode, the phone will start recording a video. See that? And now you can either keep your finger on the screen to continue recording or drag it to this lock icon to get some additional options. So now you can switch between the cameras, take a still photo and even pause the video recording. So this way, you can quickly record a video without going into the actual video mode. Unfortunately, there is a limitation to this. The videos that are recorded in the photo mode are limited to Full HD as you can see from the video resolution. So to record in 4K, you will have to go to the actual video mode. Now the problem with going into the video mode is that it takes a couple of seconds. 
So to record a video, you are going to launch the camera, then change the mode from photo to video and then finally hit the record button. And during these 3 to 4 seconds, you might miss out on that special moment that you want to capture. So I would recommend adding the video mode shortcut directly to the home screen itself. Okay, so what you want to do is locate the camera icon and then long press. It's going to show you three options. Long press the video option and drag it anywhere you like on the home screen. And that's it. Just tap on the video mode shortcut and start recording right away. See the difference? It takes less than a second to start recording. So this way you can speed up your video recording process. Sometimes you might have an important notification, but you might end up accidentally clearing out the notifications and along with it the important one as well. Fortunately, you can check your recently dismissed notifications. So what you want to do is go into the settings, then tap on notifications and then advanced settings and finally head on over to the notification history. So here are the notifications that we just cleared. So here we can check if there is anything important. Now do keep in mind that this feature is switched off by default. So you will have to switch it on if you want the phone to keep a track of your recent notifications. But yeah, this is such a useful feature. If you've ever done a factory reset or set up a new phone, then you probably know how tedious it is to reinstall all the apps and to get all your personal items like photos, videos, contacts, messages and call logs back on the phone. Now Samsung has made this process a lot easier and now you can actually back up all your stuff from your existing phone to a USB flash drive. So here I've got a USB type C flash drive, but you can also use a USB type A flash drive, but then you will need a USB type C to type A adapter. And all of these are easily available on Amazon. So let me show you how the backup process works. So first plug the USB drive in into your phone. Now to backup the files, drop down the notification panel and go to settings. Scroll down to accounts and backup. And inside here, tap on external storage transfer and then tap on USB storage. And finally, select the items that you want to back up. And once you are done, tap on backup. And now the phone will back everything up onto the USB flash drive, which we can later use to restore all of the items on this phone. So now let me show you how to restore everything from the USB flash drive. So plug the USB drive in into the phone which you want to restore. And then go back into accounts and backup and then external storage transfer tap on allow and finally select the latest backup under restore from usb storage now to decrypt the backup you will need to sign in into your samsung account and once you do you will be able to restore the backup now it will take a couple of minutes to restore everything so let the phone do its thing and once the restore process completes you will see that the S10 Plus looks almost identical to our S22 Ultra. That's because we have copied everything from the S22 Ultra onto the S10 Plus. You can see it has restored all of the apps and has also copied over the Samsung Notes data. I swear guys, this is such an underrated feature. I absolutely love it. Whenever you make or receive a phone call, by default you get this boring blue background. Now recently, starting with One UI 5, Samsung has added a feature that allows you to change the background for individual contacts. So check this out. So this contact has my picture because this is my number. And this contact has a different picture because this is my alternate number. Awesome, right? So you will know exactly who's calling you. And the way this works is really simple. You will have to edit the contact for which you want to change the background image. Then tap on view more and scroll down. And here you'll have the option to set a custom background for that particular contact. Did you guys know that you can have the phone read out the caller's name for incoming calls? Check this out. Charlie's alternate number. So this is quite a useful feature. You don't even have to look at the screen to know who's calling you. So let me show you how to enable this feature. Okay, so open the dialer, then tap on these three dots and then select settings. Here, tap on answering and ending calls and enable read caller names aloud. Now, by default, this is set to work only over Bluetooth and headphones. So tap here and change this to always. And now, whenever you get an incoming phone call, 
Charlie's alternate number. The phone will tell you who's calling. You can also share the clipboard across Samsung devices and this allows you to copy and paste text between them. So check this out. Let's copy some text on the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra. And now on the S22 Ultra, we will be able to paste the same text that we copied on the other smartphone. There you go. So this feature is called continue apps on other devices. You can enable this feature by going into the settings, then tap on connected devices and here enable continue apps on other devices. And for this feature to work, both the devices must be signed in into the same Samsung account and also must have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi turned on. And other than the shared clipboard functionality, you can also synchronize the Samsung web browser. So as an example, if you are browsing a website on your phone and you want to open it on your Samsung tablet, what you can do is grab your tablet, open recents and press on this little button and the app data will synchronize and the tablet will open the exact same web page that you were browsing on your smartphone. So this is actually quite useful and an underrated feature that no one really talks about. Sometimes you might want to extract text out of photos and Samsung has made this super easy. So whenever you open a photo which has got text in it, just tap this T button on the bottom right corner and the phone will highlight the areas that contains text. And all you have to do is tap on the text and just select the part which you want to copy and then tap on copy. Now you can paste the copied text from the photo wherever you want. You can even send this as a text message. So long press and paste. There you go. Now the same method also applies to screenshots. So maybe you have found something interesting but you don't want to send the entire picture. Instead, you want to send the text that is in the picture. So to extract the text, all you gotta do is take a screenshot and once again, you will see a little T button on the bottom right corner. Tap this and the phone will highlight the areas that contains text. Now tap and select the text and once you copy the text, you can paste it wherever you want. Super easy and convenient, right? Okay, so I guess that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you for watching. And if you have enjoyed, make sure to mash that like button and share the video with your friends and subscribe for more content. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching.